Okay, I just want to do something very quick on the question of page numbering for manuscripts. Someone raised this issue, so let me just show you what I'm talking about. This is a work in progress. Okay. Page numbering is really important because I think it really distinguishes your book or makes the paperback version of the book look much, look much more professional. Okay, so here is a work in progress. And as we did at the beginning, we said there are two types of pages in any uh, document. There is the even number pages and the odd number of pages. And all we're going to talk about now is how do we how do we deal with the page numbering? Now, I've assumed that you set up your headers. These are the headers, or you can have page numbers in the footers. You set up your headers the way you want them. Okay, so the question is, how do I take care of the numbering itself? Someone raised the question that the numbering started getting crazy. The numbers are all code, so you don't have to, you do not manually put in a number. Okay, that is very bad. Um, so you can see here, I want to go to the next chapter, and you can see 16. I'm sorry, nine, 10, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here. Now, I said in addition to pages being either even or odd, and this is how the page would look, has a, a wider margin on the inside. This is how it would look when you open the paperback. There's also the first page. First page does not have a heading, a header, therefore it does not have a page number. The question comes, okay, the page before that is Roman, Little Roman four, and yet this is two, so this is obviously page one. And I just wanted to talk about two things. Number one is how you get this going. We have the layout, of course, which we've gone through, but I wanted to show you this. It has mirror margins, okay, 0.7 and one. This is, okay. Then, but you wanna go to layout. There are three buttons here, okay? Different odd and even and different first page. You wanna click both of those, okay? And then just say, okay. And that, what that does is it has three different headers. It has even page number header with the page number. It has the odd page number. And it has the first page, the first page of what you want to know, the first page of the section. So all you need to do now with respect to um, the page numbering, that's all set up for you here. And when you go into the header, one of the things that appears up here on the left side is page number. And all you want to do is go to format your page numbers. It gives you several options. Okay. It gives you the option of what the number is going to look like. And in the early introduction section, it had the little Roman numbers. Okay. That's, that's number one it does. And the second thing it does is it allows you to change, continue from previous section or start at one. And watch what happens when I do this. That's now page six. Why is it page six? Because it is two pages after little four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, et cetera. But we don't want that. What we want is we want it to be a new start with one. Okay, four to math page number, start at one and go. Now, no page number on the first page of the section. So then you, the question you ask is, well, okay, fine. There's a page number here in the beginning of the chapter. The way you deal with that is simply, you don't want a page number on the first page of the section. So I have to click to get into the text here, okay? So what I wanna do is make this page a new section. And the way to do that is simply go to layout, go to breaks, section on the section break, next page, boom. Okay, now that'll, puts an extra return there. All you need to do is delete that. We have the beginning of the chapter and there's no header. I think it looks better. Now, here's the second thing and the final thing I'll deal with. It has number two. And that's because we've told the header because that's the last change we did in the, head, the prior header that it will start at number one. So all you have to do, and again, this is not intuitive, but this is kind of experience teaching. Okay, page 12, boom. Okay, here's the new chapter. Let me get into the text here. Okay, new chapter, no page number. It continues, page 11, page 12, page 13. Now, 
doing the exact same thing I did before, layout, breaks, next page, hit a delete to get rid of that, couple in this case, because it doesn't want to, until it shows up. Now you see, again, the first page of, this is a new section. If you take a look at the codes, you'll see, there's a section break. You can't quite see it there, but if I hit the return, you will. There's a section break, next page. This is the first page of the section, and we told it, for the first page of the section, I don't want page numbering. And you may say, well, when did we tell them that? We told them that when I created a first page and I deleted the header from it, okay? I maybe should have said that before. Okay, now it continue, but now because the last section was set up so that it would continue the page numbering, I don't have to make that little change ever again. Because every time I create a section, it will do exactly that and will continue the page numbering. Okay, so if I go layout, break, next page, boom. Get rid of the returns. No page number on the first page of the section, and it continues the page numbering from that point on. Okay, that's what I mean about how it works. Now, I I, I, I kind of cheated there when I said, how did we deal with no page number on the section, the first page of the section? Well, that was probably I shouldn't have said that because what all I did at, at an earlier time, and um, I'm just putting in a header. And then insert page number, just insert page, just insert page number of the current position. Okay, boom. Now there's a page number, page 23. That's what you know. So now if I go back, it, what it will that uh, th what I just typed is go is the um it, there are three headers. There's the even page header, there's the odd page header, and there's the first page header. Whatever I type in the first page, that becomes the header. I, you can see what happened here. I type that, it keeps showing up. So that's what the first page header, that's how I got rid of the first page header. So if all I need to do is go to the first page, delete that, boom. And now all of a sudden the first page header has no page numbering. And so you can see that when I go to here, no page number. And that's basically it. I just wanted to give it as an example of how you do the page number. The key is when you're in the header, you get that little box page number and you go to, to format it. And the only two options you have are the format and what the numbers look like and whether it continues or starts on one. And you want you always want it to continue unless you're doing a jump from one type of numbering to the other, i.e. going from an introduction to a new numbering. And this you'll see page number format is start at one. And that's why it does that. And then it will continue to do that. So once I got to page two, chapter two, I changed that to continue the numbering. So continued. And then for the rest of the way, every time I did a section break for the new chapter, it would continue doing that. And I wouldn't have to make that modification. And that is the end of my little blurb. Um, and I hope it proved helpful. Stop share is what I'm hitting. Okay. So that's my little blurb. If you have any questions, let me know. And this is Joe Garland signing off.